huge price tag for outside companies, for big corporations. That's why every time we talk to a senator that's running with a bill, to say, put this in the bill. Give authority to Navajos over their own minerals. Not, nothing has ever happened. No one has given us that authority. So the federal government will say, you have no authority over the minerals. That belongs to us. You have to ask permission. That is wrong. Because the surface land, the land, the ground up below that, and even way down there, it belongs 100% to the Navajo people, and we have authority and should have authority over all of it, not just the top part. Yes. We need to give mineral rights to the Navajo Nation. We don't have a leader out there that's advocating for that because they don't know that. The other thing that is so discouraging in all of the debate, all the stuff that I did with NGS when there was coming before us, APS, BHP mine, the number one question I keep asking, and I said this over and over, is how much of that electric born from NGS and out of APS, how much of that is being used right here? How many Navajo families get power from, from those plants? How, many, how much of that stays right here? It all goes someplace else. It lights up people's houses in Phoenix yeah. and Tucson and California and Nevada, all of those places. Yes. We will put a stop to that. Oh. Anything that's produced, that belongs to us. Yeah. And we need to stand our ground. Yeah. We control a line right here in the sand. We will not go across that line. 